So good afternoon, and uh, I think we should be ready now to start with uh, our workshop on uh, with presentation from the brain diseases uh, project that we are currently running in IMI. Uh, we are running projects that are covering three very critical areas of unmet need for patients in, uh, in Europe and uh, also areas where we have seen quite some exciting development in the academic world and where are there also some critical bottleneck in uh, uh, the R&D in, uh, in pharma. Indeed, uh, R&D for uh, um, brain-related diseases is one or more of the lengthiest and more expensive area of uh, R&D. So definitely an area where more work is done and I hope that uh, we will give you some good idea what the IMI project are doing in, uh, in this area. And I will start giving the, now the floor to Alexander Offray, uh, for the representative of the project Pharmacog, prediction of cognitive property of new drug candidates for neurodegenerative diseases in early clinical development. So hello everybody, um, first of all I would like to thank the IMI for giving me the opportunity to present this ambitious project. Um, so the aim of Pharmacog is the prediction of cognitive properties of a new drug candidates for neurodegenerative diseases in early clinical developments. So I would like to mention the two coordinators, Dr. Alain Irvine from GSK and Professor Olivier Blanc from University of Marseille in France. So, as you may probably know, Alzheimer's disease destroys brain cells. This causes memory loss and different alterations of normal thinking and behavior problems that affect work and social life. So, this disease is very complex because the cause of this memory loss are diverse and induce different types of abnormalities in the brain. And at this stage, Alzheimer's disease has no cure and cure or efficient cure. Only treatments that can treat symptoms are um, available. So we can't treat the cause. And we still need to develop disease-modifying drugs. But treatments for these symptoms combine with the support of the healthcare professional and patient family can make life better for patients. So as you may know, the number of Alzheimer's disease patients keeps increasing. And along with it, the impact uh, of the disease on the society. So Europe is now a key actor to join efforts and find better ways to treat the disease, delay its onset, or prevent it from developing. So drug development in the field of Alzheimer's disease is a huge challenge because it is clear now that the traditional drug discovery is not sufficiently efficient. There are no efficient models that are available for scientists which mimic the disease, and there is no sensitive measures that can be used to determine the effect of a potential new drugs. So an important fact is that trials in Alzheimer's disease need to run at the minimum two years and cost an amount of 10 million euros per study. So this is how much it costs to tell all new promising medicines in this field. It's a huge challenge because the lack of ability to model the disease means that first, it is difficult for drug developers to predict the best new medicine. And it is difficult to predict the most effective drug dose exposure. On one side, we could miss this way effective medicine due to a lack of effective model. And on the other side, we could fail to develop ineffective, um, to fail to stop, sorry, ineffective medicines early enough in the drug discovery process. So why Pharmacog? Because Pharmacog is a very ambitious project, an ambitious opportunity to accelerate Alzheimer's disease drug development, following three major steps or block. The first step of the project is to develop experimental models and clinical models that will mimic the aspects of the disease and help to predict treatment efficacy. The second main block is to develop markers using these types of models to predict effective dose ranges and treatment efficacy. And the third last block is to develop Alzheimer's disease markers sensitive to the disease progression and which help us to develop disease modifying agents. So why and how Pharmacog is innovative? 
because Pharmacog will focus on two main important themes, the translational aspects and harmonization around the three blocks I have developed here. So the developments of models, of biomarkers of central pharmacology, um, of pharmacology efficacy, and AD biomarkers will be used in the preclinical side with experimental models and clinical sites uh, with a continuous interaction between these two sides and two types of models. As an example of models for pharmacog, we will use, for example, sleep deprivation models in LC volunteer or in preclinical models that can mimic some symptoms of the disease. And pharmacog is also focused on harmonization of the measurements by developing a sort of battery of measurements like imaging of the brain, cognitive testing, brain talk, or blood analysis. This battery will allow us to identify the best biomarkers we can find that can predict the efficacy of a new drug or the progression of the disease. And these translational aspects are reinforced by the structuration of harmonized procedures within the consortium, the same protocols, the same equipments, the same standards, and so on. Most importantly, one work package of Pharmacog is to centralize and standardize the analysis of the data. Of course, all these aspects of the project are possible because the side of the Pharmacog consortium allow us to repeat measurements and the protocols to ensure that the results can be robust. So to summarize, Pharmacog is innovative because we will focus on the increasing ability to predict new medicines from laboratory models and clinical models, validate the tools necessary to streamline Alzheimer's disease drug discovery, and the fact that all studies conducted are designing on one side to improve our ability to identify successful new medicine as early as possible, while stopping the progression of those destined to fail. So the, res the results expected from the Pharmacog project at the end of the five years are regarding the block one, to provide robust and well-characterized experimental and clinical models to predict drug efficacy. Regarding the block two, we hope that Pharmacog will provide a validated translational battery of markers that can be used to develop drug dose prediction and clinical efficacy. And the main goal of Pharmacog is also to explain the relationship between the changes we can observe in the biomarkers and the clinical efficacy. And regarding the first step and the third block of the project, we hope that Pharmacog will develop a specific uh, biomarker battery to predict the disease progression and support um, new medicine development, in particular new disease mod modifying agents. So we hope that Pharmacog will improve the availability of models required to make drug discovery easier and accelerate effective medicine to patients. Pharmacog is a unique opportunity to set the standards for European drug discovery, providing the best models and the best protocols for use in Alzheimer's disease research. And, pharma and finally, Pharmacog will provide the development of new generation of leading scientists focused on improving the drug development process and, of course, follow the patient perspective.